Hi, my name is Dave Andrews. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the operating system of a computer. We're going to do this using a Microsoft Windows XP CD, which I have right here. This is basically a uh, basically a XP CD that comes with Microsoft. You have to have one of these to do what I'm going to show you. So if you don't have one, either from the person that you bought your computer from or the company, uh, you'll need to go to the store and purchase a new license. So let's pop this into our computer. I'm going to install this into a virtual instance of a computer. You'll actually be doing this um, yourself uh, on your actual computer. So with that CD in, I'm going to start up my virtual computer. And this is the same as you basically install, uh, putting the CD into your CD drive and then turning the power on. So it's going to boot to your CD drive. And what you're going to see is a blue screen here that says Windows Setup. Now what this is doing is this is loading the Windows operating system uh, setup files off of that CD-ROM. As you can see here down at the bottom, it's going through each of the, uh, the different Windows uh, subsystems and it's loading those into memory so that it can actually install the OS. This part might take a little bit of time to load, so just let it run through its system uh, until you get the next screen. Now, after all of that uh, data has loaded up, you're going to be presented with the Welcome to Setup screen. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to replace the existing hard drive on the machine. Nothing has been done yet, so it's important that you, uh, if you haven't made a backup of any information, that you shut down your computer and go make a backup now. Uh, to do so, let's press the Enter key. And we're going to press F8 to say that we agree to their license. Now, what you're going to see in this screen is a list of the partitions uh, that are available. Uh, for each of those partitions, since we want to wipe out the computer, you're going to select all the partitions there. I'm only showing unpartitioned space, but you may actually have several. Select them and then press the D key. And that is going to actually delete the partition. And uh, when you get back to this screen right here, it'll say unpartitioned space. Now, by deleting a partition, you've actually uh, performed an, uh, an, an irreplaceable operation on the hard drive, and all of the data has been lost at that point. So, as again, make sure you have a backup. Once you have that down to unpartitioned space, just press the Enter key, and it's going to begin to install the operating system. My name is Dave Andrews. And I've just showed you how to replace an operating system.